So let's talk a little bit about why I paid over 360. I paid some obscene amount. I think it's only like eight or nine or 10 or 12 grams. International why in the world did I pay so much for this? I asked you're a fool. You told us you only buy things close to spot. Uh, you said to look for the best deals. And here you are buying this high priced, high falutin silver. Um, well, let's see first what I bought, and then we'll see why. Okay, hold up. Look at that. And that was cool how I did that. This is a lightsaber. Made by the Rat Stack. Oh, what does that say? Let me see if I can get this to focus. I can't tell. I need a loop. I think it's eight or not. Yeah. You know, Maybe 12, 16 grams, I don't know. But what happened? Let's see here. Dear IS, thank you so much for helping to make Dean's auction exciting and successful. I knew we were in for a bidding war the moment Yankee showed interest. Oh, I was in a bidding war against the Yankee stacking for this. Um... I think per weight, this may have been the most expensive piece of the silver sold. Laugh out loud. Awesome. Mahalo. Mahalo, my friend. Ratstack. Are you in... I need to look at the dress. Are you in... Uh... Oh, he sent me this from Hawaii. So cool Hawaiian postcard. So what happened? So a member of our community, guys, um, and he goes by the name of Tomoko's Enterprises. And I'm sure you've seen him. He's been a very active member for years. Uh, does a lot of commenting. COA, Obi-Wan's Kenobi's lightsaber. Oh, it is eight grams. Wow, that feels heavy for eight grams. Uh, Mahalo, the rat stack, Papa Dean auction winner. So what happened is Tomoko's Enterprises um, has had medical issues in the past, and he had an old injury um, that ended up leading to his leg needing to be amputated. So he needed a prosthetic. Um, and unfortunately, he wasn't in the situation to where that prosthetic would be covered, and the price for the specific uh, service he needed in order to get it made and fitted and all that was something around $20,000. So um, I believe it was Value Hunter went out of his way to work with different members of the community, set up an auction. I mean, this auction was like 12 hours long. It was nuts. Everyone, a lot of people in the community donated silver to sell in the auction, and people like myself, instead of donating silver, I went to bid on it and help, you know, generate money. So normally I'm all about finding the deals and this is eight grams and I'll put a calculation here how much I paid per gram. But the reason I did it was for this community. We have one of the coolest communities on YouTube. For the most part, people are trustworthy. They really care about you. They want to spread the message about gold and silver, protecting your wealth, building your future, preparing for disasters, all these different aspects. There's many different um, flavors of stackers out there. Let's look at this while I'm talking. But yeah, it's an awesome community. Now, there's been a few bad apples in the past and different drama that's happened. I always try to stay out of the drama. But what I can tell you is for as many years as I've been making content, Tomoko has been commenting on my videos and encouraging me and having fun and engaging in the content. So the least I could do is help support him in his time of need. And we've got another card here. So let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. So if you were part of that, let me know. Did you guys go shopping in that as well? Who who went and shopped? Um, I bought one other item in that that was epic. I think it was a copper round that I need to unbox. And I paid $200 for that. And that was the first I auction of the item. I had fun throughout the thing battling with uh, people like Yankee Stacking and um, Silver Dragons. A, a lot of the big YouTube channels were there supporting I know Salivate Metal supported, so big shout out to all the major YouTubers, all the non-major YouTubers, and then all the people who just watch the content for donating items or coming and bidding, and or at least telling people to go and check it out. Oh wow, here we go. Aloha, yes, I hope you enjoy this small piece of Star Wars history. I cast this, <clears throat> excuse me, I need some water, oh my gosh. That's what happens when you film like 10 videos in a row. Um, I cast this from a Lucasfilms keychain that my sister had from the 70s. Super cool. 
It was still in the original package when I persuaded her to let me open it up and use it. I have not been pouring for long, but the pieces I've shared have been very well received. I'm going to start posting pouring videos. Great decision, Rat Pack, uh, on my YouTube channel showing what goes into these pours. May the force be with you. Aloha, the rat stack. Well, first off, I had pet rats growing up, guys, so anything to do with a rat I automatically like. And let's see what he gave me here. Oh, so he gave me a magnet and a sticker. Um, so since I have a sticker already, I'll probably... Well, oh, that's a hologram sticker. Oh my gosh, you're making this difficult. So I'll probably throw like a sticker or maybe this magnet um, in the Mega Gaw uh, to give out to one of you. The Mega Gaw? That's right. I'm giving away over a kilo of silver to someone in the community. Is it going to be you? Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell. All notifications. You don't want to miss it. <clears throat> but I'll probably give this a, uh, you know, a magnet or something away in the Mega Gaw. Help get people's names out there. But Rat Stack... Um, I'm not sure. I think I subscribed to you. I'm not sure. If not, I'm going to go subscribe to you. Guys, if you want to see how to pour silver and you want to support a silver stacker in Hawaii, there's not many of them um, that at least have YouTube channels, uh, check him out. And I would love my friend to see how you make this stuff. And can I figure out what this says? Can I figure out this? I'm going to use a loop. I don't know what that says. But that feels heavier than eight grams, but that is a super cool piece. So I'm gonna put that in my poured silver box to add to my treasure. And it was my sincere pleasure to support a member of the community who's been there for so long. And the good news is, is I think we raised the amount of cash you needed or almost there, excuse me, to get him his prosthetic. So if you're watching, you know, please update me because I'm interested in knowing in the comments below. But were you guys involved? Did you even know about it? Um, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know. If you got a nice word to say for Tomoko's Enterprises, because I'm sure he'll see this video. Um, also, too, make sure to put some uh, well wishes for him down there in the comments. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a big science fiction geek, uh, per se. Maybe not as much as others. Like, I don't speak Klingon, but I tried at one point. <laughs> um, but I like, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek and stuff in different planets and worlds. And I like stuff like meteorites and all these different things. It's just super interesting to me. So <clears throat> I did get an Abidian War with Yankee Stacking. And thank God I was victorious because this thing... And down here, it almost looks like a woodwind in instrument, right? Like a, <laughs> that almost looks like a clarinet from down there. No, but this thing is so, so, so cool. Can you read it? Hold up. Oh, is that copyright Lucasfilm? Oh, so when he cast it. When he cast it, it actually took an intention. <laughs> Lucas Films, you did not see that. You did not see that. Oh, my gosh. Um, and talking about Star Wars, uh, Stacking Stormtrooper. I like his channel because he uh, wears Stormtrooper armor. And, yes, I did back in the day own my own Stormtrooper armor, and I was a member of the 501st Legion. However, that was back in the day. I never did much with them. And when I ended up going overseas, I had to do the heartbreaking thing of selling my Stormtrooper armor uh, with my Paladin rank and everything. So, yeah, that's my little geek moment of the day. And I do go to Comic-Con every year, but not so much for the fandom, more so. Um, I get, like, rare collectible items there, and I will flip them. And that's also another way I generate fiat currency to get gold and silver. So I'm going to go look right now, find out how much I paid, and I'll, again, I'll put it up here. I'll put how much I paid per gram so you all can see. But a very, very cool piece for a very, very um, good cause for a long-term active member of the community. And the community came together to have a successful auction to help him. And all the money went straight to him. There's no middlemen, nothing sketchy about it. Um, so it was my pleasure to support that, and I will do that again in the future if need be. Um, but also as a community, guys, part of that is helping each other out, but part of it is also being smart because there's been issues in the past where there was fakers or people trying to take advantage. Um, so that's another thing. The community's nice. We do a lot of good work together, but we got to keep it that way, which means also 
protecting the community, protecting our names, and making sure no wolves in sheep's clothing enter the flock. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Rat Stack. Hope you're doing well, Tomoko's Enterprises, and we'll say... Catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey to find silver.